you looking good, Liz? How am I looking, ladies and gentlemen? No worries. No worries. Now, what about Lady Gwen? Lady Gwen, How my she? wife. Yes. She's very similar to your wife. She never sees me. She never <laughs> sees me. It's sad. Gwen, she's nice, but she's boring. It's terrible. She could bore an arsehole on a wooden horse, my <laughs> wife. <laughs> no, I mean that lovingly. I mean that lovingly. Right. But I bought her a lovely present last Christmas. This is an idea. Do you know what I gave Gwen? She won't be seeing this. This is not going to Australia, no, is no, it? No, no. My wife, I gave her a dog last Christmas to keep her company. She's as lonely as buggery, my wife. <laughs> and uh, I bought her this dog and she called me up a couple of months ago and she said, Liz, her dog doesn't respond to my whistle anymore. My wife would whistle, the dog would come to her because she whistles naturally. She's always had a loose denture. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> The dog, she said, I'm whistling, the dog hasn't moved. What should I do? I said, go along to the vet. Oh, I better still just go to the chemist and buy some of that stuff in a tube that takes the hair off, a depilatory. Because I said, you better get it because the dog's got hair in it. See, it's that's right, I can't hear you whistling. So you get the cream. So she said, she went to the chemist and he said, well, look, before she could say anything, he said, if you're using it on your legs, plenty of soap and water because it's caustic. And he said, if it's for the armpits, more soap and water. And if you're using it on your face, Lady Patterson, really, you better wash it off quick. She said, well, actually, it's for my schnauzer. <laughs> and, and, and he said, he said, in that case, he said, don't ride a bike for a fortnight. That's what he said. But, <laughs>